Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much barefaced. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth, so if your discretion is advised, but if you're not into that, or weird shit in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit out the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our Tom fondly. I think I said Monly. <laughs> Monly, fondly, whatever. I'm just happy you're here. Hello. Okay, so uh, full disclosure, I have an hour, my invisible watch, because I got burnt from the Fitbit. <laughs> I have an hour to get ready. I have to get ready. I also want to try some new makeups. You're probably saying, why do you have to get ready? I have to go to work and I have to be on camera today. But also, I want to be like a warrior today. <laughs> so like, I don't need simple makeup. I can go as intense as possible. So let's see how we can intensify a Zoom meeting. <laughs> In today's video, I have a lot of new virally, I hate saying that word, but whatever, virally products, as well as some new releases. We're gonna be talking about the Hourglass palette. Ooh, I know. We have two new eyeshadow palettes. We have the Hudson Valley from Nomad Cosmetics and the Danessa Myricks Lightwork Volume 4. Yes, Volume 4, ooh. We have the Tower 28 Mascara. We have the new Milk Makeup. Future Fluid. <laughs> Ew, Future Fluid. It just kind of, I don't know how I feel about the name. Okay, what else do we have? We have some cream products from Milani, the uh, Conceal and Perfect line, and I think that's pretty much it. I would say a highlighter palette, but there's a highlighter in the Hourglass palette that I think I, I, I think I like really obsessed with, and I need to kind of slap it all over my face. So without further ado, normally I start this way later, but I figured, you know what? No, we're gonna do it right today. We're gonna start like this, and then we're gonna work our way out. That made sense. Now, normally I would have like no eyebrows, but I just honestly, I just don't have the time today. <laughs> I don't have like three hours to just be like, I just don't, I don't. So I quickly did them off camera. Hi, this is my face. I don't have anything else other than like my normal skincare routine. And normally I would go into the base, but being that we're working with like really flashy colors today, I think we should just do the eye look first and then the base. So basically we're gonna go inside out, middle out, Middle out, middle out. And if you know what middle out is, then you know what middle out is. <laughs> We're gonna go middle out, okay. So the two palettes I wanna talk about today is the Nomad Cosmetic Hudson Valley palette and the Janessa Myricks, right? So the Nomad Hudson Valley, I think by the time you're seeing the video, I think it came out, it may not have come out. Anyway, I will put the release information right here. I have played with this palette twice already. I like it, I think this is really good. This is a really nice earthy fall tone palette. You have your orange and reds, you have your greens and browns. It's kind of everything that you need. I know there was some debate about if Hudson Valley is really upstate New York. As a New Yorker, um, as a piece of shit New Yorker, I consider Westchester upstate, which I know it's not, but I just consider it upstate because, you know, it's upstate. Um, but apparently Hudson Valley is not upstate. I don't know. There were a lot of upstate people that were upset, and, and I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm, I'm a little old downstater, okay? Anyway, this is really cute though. And it's giving me all the nostalgic feels of what I want and love about fall and then I'm not gonna get here in Central Florida. But it's okay, because when y'all are freezing your asses with fucking three to four feet of snow, I'm gonna be living my best life in 70 degree weather walking around with flip flops. So it's a fair trade, right? Anyway, so this is what she looks like. Like I mentioned, I've used this palette a couple of times now. If you are familiar with Nomad's matte quality, then you know what you're working with. There are three shimmers in the palette. The shimmers are fine. I think my personal favorite though is the corn maze one. This green one is absolutely stunning. There is kind of like a yellowy and there's also a nice little orange one here that's also kind of pretty. And then we have like more of like an orangey coral one. Again, very, very beautiful for fall. My preference lies with that green one because that green one is sick, but I'm actually very happy that it's more matte than there are shimmers. While I do like Nomad shimmers, I think their mattes are far superior. And that's why we're using using this palette today to jazz up the lid. Nothing is more menacing than a motherfucking multi-chrome. That said, before I get into this, which I'm going to probably stay on this side of the palette today, I do want to say that if you are interested in ever picking up anything from Nomad Cosmetics, I do have a code with them. It is Teresa is dead. It saves you 10% off your order. So if you want to use it, great. If not, I don't care. <laughs> do you baby, okay? Whatever. Now, um, 
hilariously enough, I'm actually gonna go in with an eyeshadow primer. I know, I know, I think the world is ending. <laughs> I'm not using my NARS Soft Matte Concealer. No, I'm actually using the Kaleidos Tone Activator. Eye activator, activator, activate. I don't know why it sounded weird. Tone Activator <laughs> Eye Primer. I talked about this in a recent video. Y'all, I mean, the packaging still sucks. I don't like it, but I really love this as an eye primer. I think it actually is good, and I really like the results of my eyeshadow with this eye primer. It, it blows my makeup dick away, and I love that. I love that for me. I never thought I would ever see the day that little old me, little old garbage me, would really like this eyeshadow primer, but bitch, here we are. I'm obsessed, and I love it. So. What are we gonna do here? So I'm gonna go in on this this row right here. We're gonna start with Farmer's Market. We're gonna put this in the crease and a little bit above, actually a little bit above the crease. There is a light amount of fallout, but I think that was me. It's a me problem, because I kind of came in a little hot and heavy. So I'm gonna take my Bristles Beauty E01DL and I'm gonna go in with Ghost Tour, which by the way, the Nomad Cosmetics, can I tell you? I absolutely love the pan embossings. On Ghost Tours, there is, there is a little sleepy hollow moment and it's so cute. So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking that shade and just really working above uh, where I put laid the green shadow at just to kind of soften it up. Okay, that's what we have on one side. I'm just gonna repeat it on the other. I'm gonna go in with the Refer 13 and I'm gonna go with Mountain Height. Basically, I'm just going to deepen up the crease just to give myself a little more dimension, a little more depth, a little bit more darkness. Okay, I like that. Now I'm gonna go in with Farm to Table and Bed and Breakfast, and I'm gonna pr probably really kind of place it more towards the outer corner and in a little bit into the crease, but not all the way there, so like just here to there. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> well, that's what we're gonna fucking do, and we're gonna see if it works. Sometimes there's no method to my madness. We are also gonna go in with the mini booster from Sonya G. So we're gonna do da, 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 tap back and forth. Ah, yes. Beautiful. It's exactly what I wanted. I'm just gonna kinda go, I wanna say like one third of the lid. Really kind of keep it more towards the outer corner. We're gonna kind of go back into with it when we're done using the Danessa Myricks just to kind of deepen up the outer corner again. All right, so this is what we have. Really, really cute. I am so tempted. Ugh, I'm so tempted to put the corn maze all over the lid because I know it's gonna look fucking good, but we're not gonna do that. Instead, we're gonna jump ship and we're gonna use this Danessa Myricks palette. So this palette retails for $125. This was sent to me by Camera Ready Cosmetics. So thank you, Camera Ready Cosmetics. If you're ever interested in wanting to pick up anything from Camera Ready, where you can get this baby for 10% off and many, many other beautiful retailers like Lethal Cosmetics, Ritual Defeat, Ben Nye, Viseart, Millie Mill Setting Spray, which I absolutely love. The list goes on and on and on. Basically, if you use the code Teresa is dead, you can save 10% off. It's not affiliated, it's just for y'all to use and save some money. So that said, thank you so much to Camera Ready. I, it's actually kind of funny, I was all ready to purchase this at Sephora and they contacted me and they're like, hey, do you wanna check this palette out? And I was like, absolutely. fucking tootly Now, had this not been sent to me, I would've picked it up, I would've been very, very happy because I really like this palette. I actually think I like this palette more than the last palette, the Lightwork Volume 3. This is fun. I know the price tag's kind of high, but you have to realize you're getting a lot of things that are just not, they're just too precious for this world. And I'm talking about multi-chromes. The majority of this palette is made up of velvet multi-chromes, which if you are familiar with like Cleona multi-chromes, basically like a jeweled multi-chrome. Super intense, super shifty, super fucking beautiful, my favorite kind of multi-chrome, right? Then you have, there are two shades, one on the bottom, one on the top, which they're called glass metallics. The two glass metallics are exactly how they sound. If you're looking for like a wet, shiny finish that is really, really sparkling, those are for you. For me, they definitely make for a lovely inner corner highlight, or if you feel so inclined, they could also make for a lovely, lovely highlighter. It gives you that alien slut effect. Then you have these four big boys in the middle. So the ones on the outside are called aquachromes, and these are water activated. So 
I could keep doing this all day, every day. I'm not going to get any sort of swatch. You have to wet your brush. Kind of very similar to the other day where we were playing with cake liners. Kind of same effect. This is a smudge proof formula and you basically can do kind of like a decorative liner or for me, if you're very, very basic, uh, you could just use it as like above the lash line liner. Then you have these two shades in the middle, which if I'm going to be honest, I'm probably not going to use them. These are chrome flakes. So these are like the press version. And this is another one where you kind of have to swirl your finger in there. Really get the formula going. That's what she looks like. She's blinding. Yes, she is. <sighs> she is really pretty actually. <laughs> oh, that's fucking pretty bitch. Ooh. Every time I use this formula, right? Like I get like, ooh, because I love how good it looks. I am just not a flaky kind of a fish. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people out here that really love that kind of flaky fish. I don't know how to describe it, but it's flaky. It's textured. It's really just like avant-garde in a way. Like it's very, very pretty, but it's just something that like, eh, I could care less about. If you're looking for that, like that foil textury effect, those are gonna be your shades right there. That shade heaven is motherfucking heaven. And I'll show you what paradise looks like as well. Like it's very, it's very, very pretty. They're very pretty. Oh, that is pretty. That is fucking, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's really, really fucking pretty. And actually this is the Velvet Multichrome right next to it. So you can see the difference. This is a cool palette. Like I said, this is a cool palette. And even though I'm not going to be using two shades out of the palette, I feel like I'm going to have a much better use out of this palette than I did the first palette. The number three palette had a cream formula that I just, I wasn't too crazy about. Like I found it really difficult to work with. So I'm happy that that's not here. In reality, I could use this. I can use them. It's just, I have to put a little bit more work into using them as opposed to say the velvet multi-chromes that it's just one swipe and you're good to go. That said, $125, I definitely think it's worth it if you're in the market for trying new things without wanting to have to buy a bunch of singles. If you're like me and you're like, ooh, like I like the idea of singles, but they're not practical for some reason or another, this could be for you. So that said, I think for $125, yes, while it is very, very fucking expensive, I think it's definitely worth it for what it is. Multi-chromes are traditionally really, really expensive. So the fact that you get eight velvet multi-chromes, which I think Cleonas are like anywhere from like 16 to $20 a piece. I don't remember. Definitely eight of them will be way more than what this palette's worth. This is definitely for someone that wants to try multi-chromes, but also wants to try some other finishes as well. So that's why I like this palette because you get the velvet multi-chromes, you get the like dazzling shifter ones, you get some liners, you get some like flaky ones. So it's a nice variety for what you're getting. The colors are fucking stunning. It's hard not to just use escapism all over the body. This is like my favorite kind of green multi-chrome. It's just so mutant-like. It has a blue shift to it. My favorite kind of multi-chromes are these green blue ones or when it's like a green yellow or a green red, which that's what we're going to put on the lid today. We're going to go in with the shade Zen, which is so fucking pretty. It's so pretty. It has a beautiful like red flip to it. Oh, okay. No, I think I'm going to have to go in with Zen. Yeah, I kind of want like this like green to yellow moment. I feel like that's more dragon-esque. We're gonna go in with that. Also, I love that like I have sunburn <laughs> from like, here, <laughs> one side of the face. <laughs> oh my God. I thought I had this part protected. Not so much, not so much. Anyway, I'm gonna go in with some NYX glitter glue and I'm gonna put it all over the inner to center portion of my lid. I find that multi-chromes have a better chance of surviving. They have a higher survival rate if you use some sort of glitter glue or glitter adhesive, especially if you have hooded eyes like myself. So I'm gonna go in with the rougher number 22 brush. So I'm gonna go in with Zen. Oh God, see how pretty they shift? God, I know. Oh, do we wanna do trippy? No, we can't do trippy. <laughs> I'm getting like distracted because they're all so pro Oh, should we do six cents actually? Ooh, okay, you know what? Fuck it, we're gonna go with six cents. I know, I know, I wasn't gonna do this, but I feel like, oh, I feel like we have to. Oh, yes. Yes, okay, okay. I know, I switched at the last second. I think this is gonna go better. Oh, yes, bitch. There is a little tiny bit of fallout. So it's just kind of a heads up there, but it's not terrible though. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing I did on the other side. Okay, I think I love everything about this. <laughs> I made the right choice. So I'm gonna go back in with bed and breakfast and farm to table and just build up that outer corner as well as just go over the edge of the multi-chrome to where the matte shadow meets, just so it looks like it's kind of peeking out of the darkness. 
I'm in love with this. I think this is so fucking cute. I'm not saying you have to buy both palettes, but kind of like fucking adorable, right? <laughs> definitely just works so fucking well together. Um, I want to use maybe, should we try to do one of the liners? No, I feel like that'd be too much. We don't want to, we don't want to detract from how beautiful and swampy this is. So you know what we should do now? Let's give the eyes a breather for a moment and let's work on this base. And I'm going to kind of quickly go through foundation because bitch, I am still obsessed with this house lab stuff. I can't stop using it. I think it's fucking fabulous and fantastic. And I'm just in love with it. It's my favorite thing. My favorite foundation I found this year. Yep, yep, I said it. I love it that much. I cannot believe I look like fucking Too Faced right now. <laughs> I look like Tommy Lee Jones. What the fuck? What the fuck, bro? All right, I'm gonna put some thorn oil on and just like, just bless this mess. What the fuck does that even mean? But also, you understand exactly what it means. What are you saying? You stop doing these early morning videos. I make no sense. You know what? I'm gonna do something a little bit differently today. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of It Cosmetics. This is the Bye Bye Redness. I'm just gonna put a little, I'm gonna use this today to color correct. Let's get rid of that fucking, <laughs> this beautiful sunburn that I have. I mean, I have the fuck I got it. Oh, I do, okay. I went to Halloween Horror Nights. <laughs> I know exactly how I got it, all right. Friendly reminder, even though it looks cloudy, the sun can still get you, my friend. It can still get you. So basically, I'm just going in with just a little bit of product, like not even dipping my finger in that much. I'm doing a light layer just around the areas that are really red right now. All right, I think we're good. All right, so I'm gonna go in with a combination of 50 and 70. Okay, so I'm just gonna put foundation on my face and I'll be right back. So now that I have my foundation on, mm -hmm. we're gonna go in with Milk Makeup. This is the Future Fluid All Over Cream Concealer Multi-Use Thingy Majiggy. I usually have um, the worst luck when it comes to Milk Makeup complexion products. They normally break out, but there was something about this little chode packaging that I just couldn't pass up. I really couldn't pass up. So I wanna see how, ooh. How good or bad this is going to be. So I'm just going in a little bit in the inner and outer corner. I don't like to use too much concealer because then it settles into my fine lines. It makes everything just like a fucking mess. And I'm probably gonna use this probably to carve out a little bit uh, of my face when we start playing with kind of more of the cream contour. But I'm gonna go in with my favorite little gadget as of late, which is from Pat McGrath. And this is the beautiful little concealer brush. Wow, that is fucking bright. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, when I was in the store, I tried this out. It was, this is, I think is like the second, no, third lightest shade, I want to say. And I didn't, I don't know. It looked really good on my hand. This is really, really kind of bright. Not mad at it, but a lot brighter than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, that's nice though. It makes shit look really lifted, which is great. Just kind of tap it out a little bit with my finger. I don't want to come in with the beauty blender. Sometimes it's just better if you finger yourself a little bit. <laughs> I am a 12 year old boy. All right. The concealer is a little bit thick, which I'm not mad at. I don't feel like I need to work really fast. I don't think it's drying down fast or anything like that. It's just she is a thicker bitch. She definitely looks brighter. So what I wanna do though, I'm gonna go in with my sponge and just on the edges of where I laid the concealer down, I just wanna gently pat it in with the sponge. I don't wanna get too close to the under eye area. Okay. I think so far so good. It looks like it's giving me a nice even complexion. I'm not mad at it, I'm not mad. All right, so um, before I jump into the Hourglass palettes, because we're gonna use that to set our face, I do wanna play with this little Milani Conceal and Perfect. This is the contour, so this is a cream contour. I used it the other day. I really loved how this looked. So we're just gonna use a little right there. I'm gonna use it right here. I'm gonna go in with the uh, Sonia G Mini Base and just blend it in. It is such a nice cream contour. It reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, I really, really love how that looks. Just wanna go over with a sponge. 
I am absolutely loving this. So now we're gonna move on to the Hourglass Face Palettes, which y'all, let me tell you, they're fucking good. These are really good. So it took mine a little while to get here because I did the custom because I hated that butterfly packaging so much. So I basically took the butterfly inside and I just put the little beautiful tiger print on the outside. This is everything that I want it to be. And this palette starting up here. So here you have ethereal light, incandescent light, and then you have like a soft flush blush. On the bottom, you have Diffuse Light, which is a finishing powder. You have Sunset Glow Blush, and then you have this metallic strobe powder. The strobe light is a fucking killer highlighter, okay? Fucking killer. In the Elephant Palette, you have Dim Light, Soft Light, a Beaming Strobe Light. You have a Bronze Light, which is a bronzer. You have Iridescent Coral and Radiant Rose. This is really nice, too, but my Uncooked Chicken friends, I think... Hmm, you kind of have to use it a little bit more sparingly as opposed to the butterfly palette technically because I think this is definitely best for those with uncooked chicken skin. But I'm glad that I picked up the elephant though because there is something about the bronzer even though I hate warm tone bronzers that just look really, I don't know, this one looks really pretty. I didn't like it initially when I tried it many years ago but now I'm kind of like into it. Also the blushes are absolutely stunning as well. But um, we're going to focus more on this palette today and uh, I'm going to go in with Ethereal Light and I'm just going to set my under eyes with it. Hourglass is another brand that I really like their powders for setting the under eye and I feel like I have to... All right, so it's weird because on one side I can see the concealer settling in a little bit, which kind of sucks. So we're just going to pat that out. But on this side it looks perfect. So that could also be a me thing. Maybe I put a little too much product there. So we're going to have to keep playing with this one. But I mean, I like how it looks. I just cannot stand... <laughs> <laughs> Cannot stand that it's fucking settling into my lines. But anyway, let's let's put some ethereal light on my face. Okay, that looks wonderful. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take one of my favorite brushes. This is from Beautylish when it was like the Year of the Ox. I don't remember the brand. This is a really good powder brush. And plus I'm a Year of the Ox baby, okay? So like obviously. And I'm gonna go in with uh, ethereal light and diffuse light, which is basically these two powders right here. I'm just gonna... Just do a little bit of this. We're just gonna lightly, ever so lightly, set the face. I'm gonna use a strobe light too. Just kind of these three in general. I look pretty fucking cute, just saying. So what I'm gonna do, I wasn't gonna do it, but fuck it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go in with the bronzer in this one. Just, just, just a little bit, just a little bit. Just a little bit, I need a little bit. It just, I don't know, it's so, it's pretty. The bronzer is very pigmented. So go in with a very, very light hand. I mean, hello, like I'm adorable. So now what do we do? Do we go in with these blushes or do I go in with the elephant one? I think I'm gonna go in with the elephant one because I have a green look and I kind of want it to be more of a pinky blush. So we have, uh, what's number five? Iridescent Coral. And then we have a Radiant Rose. I think I want to go with Iridescent Coral. Yeah, I'm gonna go in, hmm. I'm gonna go in with Iridescent Coral. Yeah, oh, I, I don't know, I like both of them. Actually, you know what? No, we're gonna go in with the rose one. I kinda want that pink. The coral might be a little bit too orangey, might be a little bit too like orangey. So let's go in with the pink, pink one. So we're gonna go in with this shade. Oh, that is exactly what I want. I mean, pretty adorable. So the last thing we're going to do before we finish off the eye look is I'm going to go in with this highlighter, which is the metallic strobe powder celestial strobe light. <sighs> Mouthful. And um, when I tell you this is an alien slut, this is an alien slut, bitch. This is, this is like a high class alien slut. You won't be going to Cece's Pizza, all right? <laughs> this is much more of a gourmet pizza highlighter. I like it. Also, don't really know what that means, but also I kind of do. I'm going to go in with this fan brush from Sigma from the Samantha Rabindal collection. I mean, gourmet pizza. Like, really? This is fucking everything. I love highlighters like this. They're just so alien slut. I'm just gonna go over it with my blush brush. Now, I didn't put any additional product on it. It's just more for like melting and blending and all that good stuff. So, a little bronzer. I mean, like, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's so 
fucking pretty. I am not liking the concealer. The concealer fucking sucks. And I say that because I'm getting, like I see a huge crease right here and now it's starting to come on this side. So I thought, oh, maybe it's because I did something weird. Here's something that likes my face. I think I'm too old for milk products. <laughs> I think I passed the point where I'm just too old. Too old. You know what, that's okay, it's okay. Sometimes you could just be too old for things. So I'm gonna go in and basically finish up my look. What am I gonna put for my waterline? I could do something very simple. I could also be extra as fuck. I could go back in with these Kaleidos ones. Kaleidos ones are really fun. Let's update you on this one. I still am using and loving these Kaleidos highlighters. They're so good. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with this Kaleidos highlighter. I'll pop the name down here because I the labels are so small. It looks like it says, I can't even read it. Like, <laughs> I can't even read it. Kind of matches perfectly, this multi-chrome, just saying. This is gonna be one of those days where I'm just like matchy-matchy. Not a problem. I'm gonna go back into the Hudson Valley. And what I wanna do is I wanna just line a little bit of my top lash. So I'm just gonna go in with Farm to Table on this uh, Trixie P02 brush. Just a little bit, wipe the excess off. I just wanna like kind of tight line a little bit. Just a scotch. I don't wanna do too dramatically, but and I'm gonna do the same thing in the bottom, right below the lash line. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this new Tower 28 mascara. This is supposed to give you length and volume and it's amazing for sensitive eyes. So let's pray that I don't fuck it up. <laughs> or that this doesn't fuck it up. The brush head is very, very small, very slender, very spiky. Hopefully it's comfortable. <sighs> All right, here's hoping. Let's try it out. Color me fucking impressed, holy shit. Wow. Now granted, I didn't use an eyelash curler or anything. I was trying to find it, don't know what the fuck it is. So this is kind of just going in with at least two coats. And this is nice. It's definitely providing length and volume. I'm impressed. And it's, I feel like truly for sensitive eyes. My eyes are not watering or anything like that. Like they look pretty good. The question is, are they gonna fall? That's the question. Uh, but right now they look pretty fucking good. So let me just do the other eye. Color me motherfucking impressed. Holy shit. All right, so before I jump into lip, which I don't have anything new, so I'm just gonna throw something on really quickly. Um, I do wanna go in with the shade Angels and pop, pop this in the inner corner because it is such a, like such a pretty white shade. Here's the completed look. I know, I look so cute, I love it. So let's do a quick rundown of the products. Nomad, this is awesome. I really, really love this palette. I think it's such a pretty fall palette. Love that it's mostly mattes in this sky. Love the pan embossings. Like I said, if you're familiar with the Nomad formula, then you know exactly what you're working with. This is definitely worth checking out. Moving on to Danessa Myricks. I. I love this, I love this palette. And I think yes, it's expensive, but for what you're getting is fucking great. Especially if you want to try multi-chromes, but you just do not want to invest in a bunch of different brands or singles that you may not pick up. You might gravitate towards a palette more. This is worth looking into. You get a variety of finishes in this. You get a lot of different fun colors that will jazz any kind of basic, boring, matte look into like a fucking alien slut glowing goddess dream. Cannot say enough good things about this palette. I think in terms of some of the more luxury brands like say Pat McGrath or Natasha Denona, I think these multi-chromes are definitely the clear winner of those groups. This is fantastic though. While I may not get the most use out of the big chrome flakies, I just, I don't know, I'm okay with that. I think when I think about the last palette, the Volume Work 3, you know, I don't really use it that much. Like I like it, but I wasn't completely in love with it. I think this is the color story that's more my speed. There's a lot of beautiful mutant green colors in here along with beautiful deep purples. Like honestly, there's not a bad shade here. You get a lot of variety. So again, if you want to check out multi chromes, but you just don't feel like going through a lot of brands to just buy singles, I recommend checking this out. And I feel like Sephora sale it's just right around, I didn't even lick my finger because I don't want to lick it. It's just right around the river's bend. You could probably save like 20% off. Or of course, if you go to Camera Ready Cosmetics now and use the code, whew, Teresa is dead. No, it's not affiliated, but you can save 10% off this baby. So something to think about. Foundation, 
dumb, I'm not even gonna talk about it, house labs. I fucking, I live for it, okay? I live for it. But I will talk about the concealer, the milk makeup concealer, wherever the fuck that is. Where are you? Oh, here. <laughs> Here you are. Um, I like it better on one side than I do the other, and I think it could have been a me problem. Um, yeah, no, 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 it's settling into my lines. I'm gonna try this again, but initially, I'm not really, I'm not, I'm not in love with this. I do love that it provides a really nice amount of coverage. I love that it's brightening. I love all that aspect to it. So I'm gonna try this a few more times. I'll let you know in an updated video how I feel about it, but, but under my eyes, I, I don't know, it's kind of creeping in into the student loan stress lines and that's not cool, so. Don't like that. Milani, I love this. This is the liquid contour. This is in the shade Honey, which is 01. The formula reminds me of the Charlotte's Charlotte Tilbury. It reminds me of the contour wand. I think if you wanted to pick that up, but you were like, ooh, the price tag, I say check this out. I really love how it looks. I think it's just like a nice kind of cool tonish neutral option. I wanna say there's like maybe four shades all together, but um, in any case, I really, really just love the coverage. I love how it looks. This is like my third time wearing it. It has really good long Longevity. For a cream product, as you can see, it's very, very easy to work with, very easy to blend. And it's not one of those things where you need to race and blend quickly because it'll dry down fast. Like it blends very beautifully. So highly, highly cannot recommend this one enough. There's also a couple of other ones in the same line too, like their little concealer. I really like this one. This is the Rose Concealer. This one's good. The only one I haven't tried yet is the uh, highlighter. So I'm gonna do that in a later video. But um, if it's anything like the contour stick, I'm going to be in love with it. Moving on to the Hourglass palettes. This is probably like the best iteration of the Hourglass palettes you're gonna get other than that like one year back in 2017. This is fantastic. Like I mentioned, I got the butterfly palette, just changed the packaging to tiger and I got the elephant one. Definitely the butterfly or the ethereal collection is better suited for but butter chickens. Uncooked chicken or butter chicken. This is definitely good. <laughs> this is definitely good uh, for those. I really love the highlighter. The highlighter is some motherfucking blinding. That alone is like worth the price tag. Yes, these are $85, so they're like $5 more than the normal price for these palettes. But I will say, even for the $5, just the artwork alone, I'm like, yeah. And the fact that you can customize it, Amazing. I wish we could take it one step further and customize it to the palette that you truly want, but I can't even imagine the, the price point of that beast. It'll probably be like a fucking $200 palette. But um, in any case, if you are fair like me, this might be the best for you. Although there is something to say about the Elephant palette. I can make it work. It's just uh, some of these shades, I would have to go in with a little bit of a lighter hand. Otherwise it kind of provides a little bit of a cast on me. But um, Hourglass powders are fucking good. They're soft, they're luxurious. They really just make the base into like a buttery, beautiful canvas that you just want to eat. These are fantastic. If you can, I would say customize it to the case that you want it. Uh, that butterfly one is terrifying. <laughs> These are so much cuter. So we love that. And I think the only product I have left technically is the mascara. This is fucking great. Like I am really impressed with it. This is the Make Waves Mascara. It really provides a lot of length, a lot of definition. I could see my eyelashes separated nicely and evenly. This is really good. It's giving me volume. I didn't use my eyelash curler beforehand because I don't know where the fuck it is. Uh, <laughs> but on its own, it's really, really nice. I like this a lot. Of course, this is the first time I've ever used it. So I will uh, let you know in a pinned comment if it fucking falls throughout the day. But so far, so good. It makes me think of like the Patrick Ta one, like, Patrick Ta mascara had a lot of promise, but then like within five minutes, it like fell flat. These are definitely in place. Everything looks good. So I like this. All right, not bad. Um, and then of course, the, uh, I talked about the eyeliners last time, but the eyeliners from Kaleidos. If you're looking for a good multi-chrome eyeliner, it's just perfection. I think that's pretty much what I have on my face. Lipstick, I have Christian Audet, Christian Audet. Wonderful. We love Christian Audet. And I think that's pretty much all I got today. So <sighs> that was a mouthful. With that said, now I wanna hear from y'all. Let me know down below what products you have. If you're planning on picking them up, if you're gonna be skipping out, let me know because I love hearing from you. And with that said, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free. And hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, to all my beautiful, wonderful patron muffins. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty. Nasty, really. Garbage butterfly. I couldn't do it without you. And I love your adorable little delicious faces. I just want to gobble you all up so you can live inside my belly and we can be one. If you want to know any of the products on my face, I'll make sure to link everything down in the description box below. And I'll see you a little cranberries later. Bye.